Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Shoreditch. It's my last full day in London, so I'm trying to make the most of it. I haven't been over to Notting Hill yet or to Regent's Park, which is one of my favorite parks, especially in the summer with their beautiful rose garden. So I just picked up a banana and a little bit of juice for breakfast and I'm heading over there to just enjoy the nice, beautiful day. And tonight I'm super excited. I was able to finally get through on today Tix's rush for Matthew Bourne's Romeo and Juliet. He's this really amazing ballet director. He's really like avant-garde. I feel very lucky that I'm getting to see it. Shaping up to be the perfect last day here in London. So come along for the ride. Uh, train in Hampton Town now. So it's about a 10 minute walk now from Hampton Town Station to Regent's Park. Hopefully gonna pick up some lunch on the way or like a little snack to meet your way and uh, we'll go from there. a smoothie I was gonna get iced coffee and then I thought you know I haven't had much protein today I'd get like a protein shake thought it'd be cold it's disappointingly warm and weirdly like very sweet this is why I normally research food places ahead of time because there's nothing more disappointing in my mind than a bad theater performance or bad food <laughs> So now I'm in Regent Park's Rose Garden. This is one of my favorite places in all of London. Um, I wish you could smell it right now. The entire like aroma in the air, it's just roses. And it's, oh, it's heaven. It makes me so happy. Um, I think they have like a hundred different kinds of roses. I can't even like do them justice right now. I'm so obsessed with this place. If you're in London during the summer, you have to come here. They even rent out chairs during the summer. I think they're like a couple pounds like per hour or something and you can just sit and read and smell the roses. The other cool thing that you might be able to hear that's just kind of over that direction is their public uh, theater, essentially, like the equivalent of the public theater in New York. Um, it's actually something I've never been to and I'm dying to do. thought about doing it this year, but honestly, the reviews weren't great. Just crossed for next year that it's a production that A, gets really good reviews, and B, is something that I want to see, and I'm going to make it happen. I'm putting it out into the universe.
So after a couple of train delays, we made it to Nottingham. I don't have a ton of time now because the train delays took up a good like 40 minutes. But I still have about an hour and a half before I've got to head back to the hotel. So let's go explore Nottingham. So good news, I got back to the hotel. I was able to drop off my tripod and I had like 10 minutes. So I put on like a tiny bit of lipstick, switched purses and I'm just kind of going with it. Not gonna have time to eat dinner probably. So I got a banana for the road and I'm hoping if I get there early enough, maybe the theater has like, well, I'm sure they're gonna have at least snacks. It's probably not the healthiest like dinner, but it's something. I'm so excited about this ballet. Like you have no idea. Okay, so I'm just leaving the ballet and Oh my god, is it amazing. Honestly, I just had the perfect like, last day here in London. So I don't think I told you earlier, it's his version of Romeo and Juliet, which is set in like a prison. Oh, it was so like modern and sexy. The complaint though was the audience. I had a woman next to me that had her shoes off, like bare feet, up on the chair in front of her the entire performance. Nobody wants to see bare feet next to them. So that was a bit of a downer, I'm not gonna lie. And then on top of that, there was a woman behind me with a very noisy bag of very crunchy cookies. And for some reason, a lot of people didn't seem to know the storyline of like Romeo and Juliet, or they just had better conversations to be having because here were so many people like doing like the loud whisper thing. It was driving me insane. Which I don't know why it's such a problem that people can't just sit quietly for like an hour and a half to two hours and enjoy the performance. So that's the end of my little like theater rant. Um, I feel like I'm gonna go home probably and write a whole article about theater etiquette now because it just, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. But overall, it was an amazing last night in London. Mm -hmm.